Hello everyone, welcome to Learners Tube. Today we are going to see the how server hardening is done in Linux systems. So uh, first of all, what is server hardening in Linux? Server hardening is the process of enhancing the server security. This could be uh, done through a variety of means which results in much more secure server environment and operating system. So why is server hardening required actually? So securing a system in a production from the hands of attackers and trackers is a challenging task for any uh, system admin. Also to overcome these uh, situations and enhance security on server, so server hardening steps are carried out. Like uh, everyone might have uh, got multiple queries like, so what are these exact steps to perform server hardening in Linux? So there are multiple procedures to perform server hardening. Among all, these are the top uh, 15 steps are uh, like first thing is BIOS protection. Okay, configure the BIOS to disable a boot booting from CD or DVD or external drives like floppy in uh, from the BIOS mode because uh, in next uh, enable the password uh, BIOS password and also protect grub with password to restrict physical access to your, of your system this is very important when you are talking about the physical servers that uh, that are available in your environment okay next is uh, disk encryption so this is is uh, mostly used for the confidentiality like most of the uh, linux distributions will allow you to encrypt your disk before installation disk en encryption um, is important in case of theft because the person who stole your computer won't be able to read your data if you connect the if they connect the hard drive uh, to their machines so in this case uh, disk encryption is a must so uh, next thing is like disk protection it's important to have multiple partitions to obtain higher data security okay in case uh, if any uh, disaster happens by creating a uh, different uh, partitions data can be separated and grouped okay uh, when an unexpected accident occurs only data of that partition will be damaged while the remaining uh, data will be safe so uh, disk protection is uh, very important and another is like log the boot directory the boot directory contains like important files related to linux kernel so you need to make sure that the directory is a locked down to read only permissions in fs tab disable usb access depending on how critical your system is like uh, sometimes it's necessary to disable the usb sticks usage on the Linux host okay uh, system updates it is always recommended that your system is updated with the latest uh, patches and releases uh, which include security fixes and kernel updates etc whenever it's available and uh, have only the necessary packages that are be uh, that are required like uh, minimize uh, packages to minimize vulnerability do you really want all sort of packages installed? No. It's recommended to avoid installing useless uh, packages to avoid uh, vulnerabilities in packages. This may minimize risk that compromise of one service may lead to compromise to other service. Okay, find and uh, remove or disable all these uh, unwanted services from the server to minimize vulnerability. Okay, you can use like uh, chk config command and uh, you can find out which what are the run, uh, run levels of each service and all the part next thing is like disable unused ports okay attack uh, usually these uh, hackers and crackers usually attacks on the uh, available ports okay from the network side so it is always uh, recommended that to uh, enable only the ports that are used okay with the help of uh, netstat uh, command you can uh, networking command you can view all open ports and associated programs as i said uh, i will use a check config command to disable all unwanted network services from the system 
and a secure communication. Whenever you connect to your server, it is recommended to use SSH like uh, instead of uh, Telnet and R uh, or login. Protocols uses plain text, not encrypted format, which is uh, the security breach. So SSH is a secured uh, protocol that that use encryption technology during communication with server. Never login directly as root unless uh, necessary. Use sudo to execute commands. Sudo are uh, specified in slash etc sudo file. Also can be edited using the vi sudo. And uh, rock your cron jobs. Like uh, cron has its own uh, built-in feature where it allows to specify who may and uh, who may not want to run jobs. Okay, this is controlled by the use of files called slash etc cron dot allow and slash etc cron dot deny. To lock a user's uh, cron, simply add uh, user names to cron dot deny and allow a user to run cron add in cron dot allow file. If you would like to disable all users from uh, using cron, add the ALL in caps line in a to cron dot deny file. It will disable all users to uh, run the cron jobs. So for enhanced security, uh, it is recommended to use SC Linux. So uh, SC Linux is a compulsory access uh, control security mechanism provided uh, in the kernel. Disabling SC Linux means removing security mechanism from the system. Think twice because uh, carefully because removing if your system is attached to an internet and accessed by the public, uh, then think some more on it. Like. Uh, all the uh, SC Linux policies and all the part and uh, disable IPv6 in case if you're not using any IPv6 related applications and you do not have any uh, requirement for IPv6 it is uh, recommended to disable IPv6 okay and password policies and make sure uh, make sure that in an uh, enterprise environment to enhance security against uh, brute force attacks Okay, and uh, make sure that uh, appropriate uh, password policy is enforced with non-dictionary password and with uh, eight, minimum eight uh, characters in length and containing alphanumeric with case in, uh, case in uh, special symbols, etc. Which will enhance the uh, security. And uh, also you can restrict your uh, old passwords like uh, uh, user uh, can't use the same password for the next uh, next cycle like that so like a, a user can't have the same password for the next five changes in that way uh, which will enhance again it will uh, increase the security and uh, finally the firewall which is also called like IP tables like it's highly uh, recommended to enable Linux IP firewall to secure unauthorized access to of your systems apply rules in IP tables to filter incoming outgoing and uh, forwarding packets we can um, specify the source and destination address to allow and deny in a specific UDP or TCP port numbers that's all guys uh, thanks for watching post your queries in comment section below and subscribe to learners tube